Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So as you can see, I'm up in a white pine here. Um, and by the way, just a note, um, if the camera angles are, you know, bad or whatever, um, I'm sorry about that, just, uh, I try to, I try my best to, you know, film a good video, but, uh, <laughs> it's a little hard to do it uh, up in a tree, because, uh, you know, you don't have that security of being on the ground. See, I've got my rope, connects, it's on that branch, connects to my harness there. Got my backpack, my water, and ropes in it. So I just made this uh, interesting observation. So, see that broken branch up there? Uh, that big one? That broke about, uh, oh, I think it was early April of this year. Um, as you can see, it was a pretty big branch. It was uh, almost as big as this one I'm on here. And you'd think that it would just fall straight down, but no, it actually went this way. And I, I distinctly remember cleaning it up. It landed right down there. Why well, what I find interesting is that such a big branch it didn't even like really like wreck that many other branches because there's a lot of other branches of stuff, you know, tree limbs to fall on here. Um and, and at first glance it doesn't look like it wrecked anything. Oak trees down there look pretty intact. These branches look pretty intact. But if you take a closer look, if you take a look at this branch. See how it's kinda beat up looking? It's got some missing branches, kind of thin. So clearly that branch got hit, somehow it didn't break. And then if you take a look down at that little oak sapling, you can see some busted branches there. Um, yeah. There's the path of, path of destruction right there. Got some fall foliage coming in there. Huh. Still a lot of green though. White oak right there is what I call like a a deep summer green. No color changing on that just yet. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you later.